There she goes again. What's the matter with her? That's the worst thing about young kids. They always... Look here, shut up, you. You've been terrible to Lucy ever since he started this nonsense about the wardrobe. Just leave Lucy alone. But it's all nonsense. Perhaps, but what good do you think you'll do by teasing her? I thought... I thought... You didn't think at all, it's just spite. Stop it, both of you. Fighting won't make things any better. Now, how do you know that your sister's story is not true? Oh, but, but Edmund said they'd only been pretending. Does your experience lead you to regard your brother or your sister as the more reliable? I mean, which is more truthful? Up till now, I'd have said Lucy every time. I'd say the same as Peter. But all this about the woods and the farm... And... Yes, yes, yes. Now, that is more than I know. But a charge of lying against someone whom you have always found truthful. Uh, now, that is a very serious thing. But how could it be true, sir? Why do you say that? Well, for one thing, if it was real, why doesn't everyone find this country every time they go to the wardrobe? What has that to do with it? Well, sir, if things are real, they're there all the time. Are they? But there was no time. Lucy had no time to have gone anywhere, even if there were such a place. She came running after us the very moment we were out of the room. It was less than a minute, and she claims to have been away for hours. That is the very thing that makes her story so likely to be true. If there is a door in this house that leads to some other world, and I should warn you that this is a strange house, and even I know very little about it, I should not be at all surprised to find that that other world had a separate time of its own. So that however long you stayed there, it would never take up any of our time. If she had been pretending, she would have hidden for a reasonable time before coming out and telling her story. Do you really mean there could be a Narnia? Other worlds all over the place? Just around the corner? Like that? Nothing is more probable. But what are we to do? My dear young lady, that is one thing I cannot tell you. I think Lucy ought to be the leader. She deserves it. I think you're so smart. Nobody treats me that way. I'll get even. You watch. I'll get you. Just wait. He's met Heath. <gasps> oh no! Poor Mr. Tumnus! What a mess. Not much good coming here. What's this? There's something written on it. The former occupant of these premises, Fawn Tumnus, is under arrest and awaiting his trial on a charge of high treason against Her Imperial Majesty Jardis, Queen of Narnia, Chatelaine of Care Paravel, Empress of the Lone Islands, etc. Also of com comforting Her Majesty's enemies, harboring spies, and fraternizing with humans. Signed, Fenris Ulf, Captain of the Secret Police. Long live the Queen. I don't know if I'm going to like this place after all. Who is this Queen Lucy? She's cast a spell over the whole country, so that it's always winter here and never Christmas. I wonder if there's any point in going on. It doesn't seem particularly safe here. Let's go home. Oh, but we can't, we can't. Don't you see? We can't just leave. After all, it's on my account that the poor fawn has got into this trouble. We must try to save him. A lot we could do. Let's get out of here. Quiet, you. What do you think, Susan? I have a terrible feeling Lucy's right.